Responding to an aircraft emergency greatly differs from any other vehicle emergency, which is why the Belfry Fire Department held an open helicopter emergency response technique class this evening to better prepare their first responders. You don't need all the hydraulic rescue tools for an aircraft that you have to have for maybe an automob automobile accident. Uh, there's four primary tools that, that one would use to extricate someone out of a helicopter. That's a standard fire axe, flathead fire axe, uh, our eight pound halogen bar, uh, you know, a set of EMS or trauma shears or tin snips, uh, and a uh, set of bolt cutters to cut the hinges in the aircraft. Uh, so very common, very simple tools that, that any firefighter with basic training should be able to use. Now just because it takes a few minor items to extract someone from a helicopter, that doesn't mean you or I should do it. It could cause more harm than good. You know, if somebody gets in close, uh, they get fuel on them, uh, something happens that, you know, they can end up hurting themselves a whole lot more trying to go in and uh, if they don't know how to assess the situation. You don't have any idea what you're dealing with um, because most of the times in a crash, um, it's not just the fuel, you know, you've got hydraulics and, you know, you're mixing a lot of things that normally are, con are contained and, you know, something breaks, ruptures, um, you know, then you've got things mixing and, uh, you know, you could be in harm's way in a heartbeat. For more information on other training classes being offered at the Belfry Volunteer Fire Department, simply visit them on Facebook. Reporting from Belfry for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.